Hello, I'm Michael Kramer and I've shown you in my last video the real basic colors, how you can mix any radiant color from three basic colors if you have the right basic colors and white for pastel tones. Today I want to show you how you can mix any brown or gray or even black tone from these same basic colors. These are the three basic colors as I have shown you in my first video, the real basic colors. Now I start with red and yellow. I take about the same amount of red and yellow. and mix it and that turns into uh, tomato red and the third basic color is blue I take very little blue a tiny amount only into that red yellow mixture and immediately it turns into brown If I dilute it with a little oil, you can see what kind of brown it is. It's a medium dark reddish brown. Now I mix yellow with a little brown of that same brown and we'll get light ochre. If I mix a little more of that reddish brown into the light ochre, we get this reddish brown tone. It's called burnt sienna if you buy it in a tube. Burnt sienna is a reddish brown tone, earthy red. Now I mix a little more, tiny little more blue into that basic brown and we get a very dark brown, almost black already. And only if I dilute it, then we see it's still brownish, a very dark brown, maybe a Van Dyke brown would be similar to it. By the way, if we mix that yellow ochre with a little bit of blue, very tiny amount of blue, we get that olive green. And finally, I mix the basic brown with a little more blue and now we have the real black and even when we dilute it with oil we don't see any color only when I mix it with white then you see it's still a colored black it's a bluish purple gray and when I mix a little yellow into it, we'll get another gray, a warm gray. But it's all a colored gray, which is different from the gray which you get from mixing pure black and white together. So as you have seen, you need only three, the three real basic colors and white to mix any other color even brown or even black and gray so you don't have to buy 10 tubes or whatever of course there's nothing wrong in buying 
a dark brown tube, for instance, if you want to take the shortcut and not mix it every time from all three basic colors, uh, if you need brown. But uh, if you want to learn mixing colors, it's good if you stick to only very few colors and get a feeling for how you get to the color you are looking for. I hope it was interesting for you and I see you again in my next video. Bye.